engineering videos and technical solutions, BTEC and master engineering thesis guidance, simulation of projects using different software such as MATLAB, PVSYS, Helioscope, ETAP, and many more. Detailed videos on these topics and much more available software such as AutoCAD, Revit, and SketchUp. Be part of our family by subscribing to our YouTube channel, follow us on Instagram, like our Facebook page, and visit our website. PZ Engineering. Passion to excel. Hi, welcome to the PZ Engineering channel. In this video, we are going to show how to design and simulate the flyback converter in MATLAB Simulink software. Before we start with our simulation, if you are not yet part of our family, please subscribe to the channel, share our content, comment and like this video. Flyback converter is a power supply topology that uses mutually coupled inductor to store energy when current passes through and releasing the energy when the, pa the power is removed. It is a back and boost converter with inductor split to form and transformer so that the voltage ratio are multiplied with additional advantage of isolation. This is our flyback circuit diagram. We have our voltage input. We have our linear transformer. We have our MOSFET. We have our diode. We have our capacitor and we have resistor. This is our flyback operation when the, the switch is on and when the switch is off. You can just follow Here we have our equations. We have a number of 10 there. And we have our voltage output, which is equal to V input times the, the, the number of 10 times diode uh, duty cycle divided by 1 per minus duty cycle. Now let's build our model. We have, here we have our current measurement. Let's add there. Mm, let's look for linear transformer. Let's add and let's go for MOSFET. Let's add it. Now let's get our diode. Let's add in, in uh, our model. Uh, let's just get other other components. You can just follow the names. Current measure what the measurements and series. Now let me organize and put the parameters. And let's look for other, take our uh, DC voltage source. Let's change it to 30. Now let's change the parameters of our transformer. Equal to 50 e to the power 3. And here as well, 50 to e to the power 3. The winding parameter, let's put to 30 voltage. And then R1 and L1, let's put 0, 0. And uh, winding tool, let's put 60 
is a uh, uh, voltage and the resistor and, and will put zero zero resistor and inductor and will not change there anything let's connect our MOSFET and then Let's get our series branch for the capacitor and the and the and the resistor. Let's change our series branch to capacitor and 13 to the power C minus 6, the value of our capacitor. Let's connect our current measurement. And now let's put our resistor. Let's change it to the resistor. Then let's value. Let's measure, put our voltage measurement. Let's take our display. Now let's model our con our closed loop control. Let's change this to create an echo. Let's model our control or closed loop control. Let's open a change to PI. And here we put 0 0.4. 0 .4. And it will take down put hundred. Yeah. 
here we are not changing anything let's put our reference voltage to, uh, to 10 now let's connect our output voltage We don't change anything in our repeating sequence. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share our content, comment and like this video. Let's change to minus. And let's run our system. Let's just fix this error. As you can see, the output voltage is based on the reference voltage. We have 10 as a reference voltage and we are getting 9 point something on the output voltage. Let's change our, our reference voltage. It should be the same as, uh, as the output voltage. As you can see, if we keep on changing, it will give us the same or close to the reference voltage. 
Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel, share our content, comment, and like this video.